Warrnambool for the Australian Modified Sprint Car Championship over 50 laps. Well, they're away on their rolling start in this 50-lap feature race at the Premier Speedway Warrnambool. This will be 50 laps of hard driving by the 21 top cars in Australia. On the pole line is the big 427 Daytona Corvette of Bill Wiggles from South Australia. Right tucked in behind him is a little car of Zeke Agar's, fuel-injected 186 Holden, only about a half the size of Wiggles. And well, it looks as though they're going to do two laps of rolling start, and then they're away for 50 laps. This race has got many fortunes already been told in it. Some of the automatic qualifiers will not even make the race. Ray Geneve, the Western Australian qualifier, has been plagued by trouble right from where to go. Now they're coming down to the start line. They look like they might get away this time. And they're away. Bill Wixel jumps to the lead right from the start. Zeke Agar's trying to get up on the inside. David Beers in fourth place. The local boy, Doug Byron, in fifth. But round the top corner, and it's still Wigsell showing the way. From Jim Winterbottom in car 41 with the fuel injected holding the Zeke Agar's hot on that tail in the six. comes a move with Winterbottom pushing through on the inside, but Wiggles too good. He moves a car around the, in the outside. It's a tremendous skill for first place for Jimmy Winterbottom. Jimmy Winterbottom being the one of the uh, top men in New South Wales. Pete Agars, one of the top men in South Australia. Winterbottom blasts to the lead. With Wigsell taking up third position, David Pierce from South Australia fourth, and Bobby takes fifth. And here comes Wigsell down the straight, but his tyres on fire again. Magnificent! Oh, absolutely magnificent! The tyres are 24 inches wide and they are on fire. Never has anything been seen like this on a speedway anywhere in the world. Magnificent effort. Down into the corner again. The sparks and the smoke is just phenomenal. The smoke is pouring off Wigsell's tyres. He's just burning them. I don't know how long Wigsell can keep this up. There he goes again. Number 88, absolutely on fire. I don't think old Bill knows this, otherwise he'd, <laughs> he'd be pulling up. There goes Bill Wiggle, number 88, still smoking. A great sheet of flame coming out the back of the exhaust. It must be igniting the hot rubber, I think. the bottom corner again, just absolutely smoking. Pillarine looks like now he might have a bit of a clear spot here. He's got Dougie Byron and Wiggle. His tyre has just exploded. It's caught fire and it's burnt off the rim and the big day Dana Shev is finished. That's it for Wiggle. He's just worn the tyres off it. Here comes McCann, and McCann has gone over the, over the line in first place, and he's gone into the fence. He's bounced into the fence. Oh, valiant drive by Graham McCubbin, number 13 for Victoria. He has taken out the Australian Championship for 1972, a fantastic drive. He's beaten the top of Australia. Oh, an absolutely perfect drive on Graham McCubbin's part in a race that has had
that many incidents, too numerous to mention. One of the features of the race being Billy Wigsell catching on fire. He absolutely burnt the tyres off. 1972 was the first...